Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. So this is another real life scenario wherein one of the user on my channel commented asking, I have a data set with quite a few number of uh, date columns and I want to have a date slicer and filter those columns for that particular date. Now what I mean by that is for example, I have this sample data set over here. Let us say I have these four columns over here with screening, interview, offer and hired and I want to know what all activity has happened let's say for example in the month of March and if I go back to screening over here and filter down for March so I have four candidates whom I have screened in the month of March all right so I'm gonna cancel this filter let's go to interview here and look at March so I have interviewed one candidate in the month of March and if I go to offer field over here I don't have anything here on the in the month of March so I need so I need this to be zero over here and then hired I don't have anything so I want this also to be zero so on my date slicer if I select a particular duration I want to know how many candidates have been screened interviewed offer and hired in that particular duration so with the current data structure it does not look very straightforward so the user also said that I want to connect this to a calendar table so which column do I need to use to connect to a calendar table and have the data filtered. Unfortunately, it does not work that way. I'm going to show you a workaround. So let's jump into Power BI and bring this data in and see what we can do to address this particular issue. So let's get started. So I'm going to bring in the data set over here. Let me just go to transform data set over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this particular uh, data set that I have over here. I'm going to create a new table because I don't want to mess around with the actual table that I have because I am going to transform the data in a way that Power BI understands and you will be able to filter by month. So I'm going to just duplicate this particular uh, table over here and call this as HR data set um, date slicer. So in this data set over here, I have these four date columns. I'm going to select all of the date columns that I have over here. I'm going to right click and then select unpivot columns. So the moment I do that, I will see my data set getting transformed into rows over here. And then I'm going to just rename this particular column to date and leave this as attribute for now. And then let me just close and apply this. So let's add a calendar table to the report. So I'm now here on my channel and I can simply search for calendar. I will, I have made a tutorial on this particular uh, topic over here. So this is the video that I have made. I'm going to copy the entire code that I have uh, in the description of this particular video. You can watch the video here to see the uh, how you can create the calendar table and what are the benefits of it etc once i have copied the code i'm going to come here to the bi again go to the modeling tab click on new table and then paste the values that we just copied over here so one change that i'm going to make here in this particular calendar table is i'm going to define the start date and end date over here so i'm going to create a variable over here and call this as start date is equals to i'm going to do a min of HR data set for slicer from the date value. So this is going to be my min date and then I'm going to create another variable over here and call this as end date is equals to max of sorry is equals to max of this particular uh, column over here. I'm going to type in max paste the values that I just copied and then I'm going to replace these two values over here with start date comma end date so these are the uh, variables that we just created over here once you have committed to this particular um, code over here let's go back to our table and you will see that we now have a calendar table let's quickly rename this and call this as just calendar we now have this particular table which is starting from 1st of january 2021 and all the way up to 12th of 10th of December 2021. All right, so now let's come back over here to our uh, model view and let's connect the date here with the date table and uh, let's come back to the report view and let's build a slicer now. Um, let's build this particular slicer. I'm going to bring the date here from the calendar table and you will see that we've now got a 2021 calendar table with the months over here 
So now let me show you how you can play around with the data. I'm gonna just add a card over here and let me bring in the attribute that we created from the date slicer into the uh, filter of this visual and select hired over here. And then I'm gonna bring in the recruiter field over here and do a count of recruiter and let's change this to hired. So these are my hired number of people in the entire duration. Let me create a few copies of this particular visual over here. I'm gonna come over here and choose interview over here, come over here and choose offer and then come over here and choose screening. So now I'm gonna quickly change this to screening. I've now quickly aligned them as well. Now it begins with screening, interview, offer and hired. So let's look at the example that we looked at the month of March. So now you can see that we hired, we screened four people, we interviewed one person and then we didn't offer anything in the month of March. Look at this. So we had four screenings. We had one interview. We had zero, zero uh, offer and hired. Same thing if you look at December data over here, we did two screenings, one offered and one hired. And look at December and you will see that we did two screening. We interviewed nobody, but we offered one candidate and we hired one candidate. So this is a little hack or a trick which lets you filter multiple columns in your data set using a calendar slicer. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.